Hello, and welcome back to Time is Precious with me, your coach, Coach Precious. Hope you're doing well and that you're ready to jump into some more gems and information that is good and that will support us on this journey called life as we continue to grow um, older, wiser, and better. So I'm going to start with one of my sayings, and you can adopt it for yours as well. I said, this is good, and I want to share it with my group, my audience. And my saying is, time, the older I get, the better I get. The more I know, the more I grow. So I adopt this for me, and you are welcome to use it for you as well. Let me use it again. The older I get, the better I get. The more I know, the more I grow. Isn't that something good? I like the fact that it just keeps getting greater, getting better, because I say so because I prepare myself for that, because I'm living in expectation of that. And whatever's behind me, I've learned from, and I use that for the present and to help build so I can have an even stronger future. So everything that we've learned and gained and grown from, it prepares us and propels us. So anyway, I hope you're well and I'm ready to get right in. So we do, and time is precious, we identify ways of using time in productive ways. That's a resource we have. It's a valuable resource. Time is a valuable resource and it's something that we all have. Those of us who are walking and living and breathing, we still ha we have time. And how we use it makes a difference in the quality of life we live. How we choose to use it, it's a choice, makes a difference in the type of life we have and that the type of life we live. So there's I'm going to identify six areas of life that we deal with. It just comes with the territory and uh, we can identify how we want to use our time in all of these areas. For example, we have grief. It comes with the territory. There's loss. There is uh, the area of health, relationships, finances, mindset. Those are just six. There are more. That is not an exhaustive list, uh, but it's something that you can wrap your mind around and realize, yeah, 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 these are things that we face. What, like it or not, ready or not, these are things we face. And what can we do while we're in those spaces? Because chances are you're either in one of those now, something you're maneuvering and managing, trying to figure out uh, within one of those areas that I've mentioned, or it could be something different. But we are definitely in spaces that we have to navigate. So I'm going to start with this affirmation. I am worthy of success and abundance in all areas of my life. What are you doing right now that shows success and abundance? How are you using your precious resource of time to create it? Now, these are great words and they, they seem wonderful, but they're not as wonderful in words as they are in action success and abundance, and that I am worthy of it in all areas of my life. So if I believe that, not just say it, but if I believe that, what am I doing? How am I using my resource of time to manifest that? Okay, I want you to sit with that for a moment. I'm going to keep speaking, but I want you to sit with that for a moment. How are you using your resource of time to attract and absorb that message that you are worthy of success and abundance in all areas of your life. So the first question I'll ask you, if you're on this journey with me, is what's in your hand? What do you possess? What is something you have that maybe you had not considered a different use for it? So what's your job? What's your life's work? What are your family and friendship connections? Who do you have? What's your intrapersonal relationship? That's the one with yourself. Your self-care could inc also include your self-talk. What are you doing with your resource of time in these areas? So we're thinking about it in terms of, I'll mention it again, your, your job, your life's work, your connections through family, friendships, and then your interpersonal relationship with yourself. How are you using time to support you 
Now, are you working in a way that you're giving it all? Are you searching for something else because you realize, I don't want this, I don't like this, whatever it is you're doing. Do you see this as a stepping stone, whatever your, your work is, to something else? Are you moving toward a goal? Something to consider because you're not just in the spot you're in willy-nilly. There's There can be a purpose for that if you cooperate with it. There's something that you can gain experience, even if it's to know that I don't want this, I don't like this, but if this is what you have right now, what are you doing with your time to make the most of it? Is there anything else you can do to make the most of what you have currently as your life work, as your day job, night job, but as your job? What are you using? How are you using your resource of time to create the life that you want? Do you appreciate what you have? And then how are you showing that? The next question, when it comes to relationships and connections, they can be very tricky. They can be very challenging. Um, they can also be very rewarding. And we do not operate in a vacuum. We are in connection with other beings, like it or not. So we don't just spring up on our own and just be born and live and flourish outside of being connected with other people. What are those connections like? Could they be strengthened? Are boundaries needed? What What is needed? And I'll tell you, I will suggest don't take any of it for granted. So some may say, well, I don't have a lot of friends, but do you have family that you trust and that loves you? Some may say, yeah, I don't have family. Yeah. Do you have friends that value you? What you have is what you have, and that's what you can celebrate. And you may have both, but the point is whatever you have in, re in regards to your connections, your people, your family, your friends, how are you utilizing your time for those that you may say that you love and trust or who love and trust you? Do you have time for them? Do you make time for them? Would you like for them to make time for you? What can you do about it? What will you do about it? Talking about time is precious and we have this resource. How are we making it work for us when it comes to our family and our friendships? And I'll, I'll throw this in for fun and for free. Oh, well, this comes next. So let me let it just segue naturally. Our interpersonal relationship, our self-care. You know, since we're the only ones that we can control, it might take a while for some of us to have learned that. It might have taken a while and it might still be taking a while for others of us, but that is true. You know, we're the only ones we can control. It would seem that we would want to be our best friends because we can control that part. We can show up for ourselves. We don't have to tear ourselves down, talk down negatively, insult ourselves. But what about the power of the tongue in a way to build ourselves up? What about caring for our bodies inside and out, for our, from our mind to our physical beings? Uh, what about doing that in a way that we actually care for ourselves? Because if we do care for ourselves, it's going to show. If we don't care for ourselves, that shows also. It shows in the decisions we make, in the interactions we have. It shows in every, we can't hide that. It comes out. So again, our resource of time, our precious resource of time, how are you utilizing it to value yourself and your personal relationship with yourself? Okay, that's the only one we can control. And then the other things can come from that. But I, I mind you that that is a key ingredient, our interpersonal relationship with ourselves and our self-care. What are you willing to do with what you have or do about what you desire in any of those areas? Are you, 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 you have to be the one to answer that when it comes to your life. I mean, your, your, um, your work, your job, your, you know, that part of your life, your connections due to family and friendships, and then your interpersonal relationship, your self-care. What are you willing to do with any one of those categories of your life? And what you desire. You may desire something that you don't have. What are you willing to do about it? How are you willing to use 
you're a resource of time and a way to gain what it is that you desire. So that question was, what's in your hand? What do you possess? What can you utilize and realize, oh, I do have this. I do have this. I do have my job. I do have some family or friendship connections. And I do have the ability to look at the relationship that I have with myself in a way that can build me up. These things are within your possession. That's question one. Question two is, what about you is worthy? So the affirmation today is, I am worthy of success and abundance in all areas of my life. What about you is worthy? Do you believe you are worthy? Hmm. Because again, what we really believe is manifested in our actions. It comes out in ways that we're not always even aware because it's it's just part of who we are and how we move. So our our sincere beliefs have a way to, of showing themselves. Do you believe you are worthy? And here's the thing. If your answer is no, you're not in trouble for that. It's about acknowledging what is. When we acknowledge what is, we can look at it objectively and decide what do we want to do with that? Do we agree now that we are aware? Oh, this must. This is how I feel. I'm going to be honest. This is how I feel. Now, what do I choose to do about it? What do I want to do? What am I capable of doing? What resources may I need to reach out to, to do more of what I, I recognize would be helpful for me in this area? So what about you is worthy? Where does your value come from? That's a good question. So if you say, oh yeah, I am worthy. I'm worthy. Um, says who? Say you. And in what way? How did you gain your worth? Your value, your gemness. I made that up. up. Your G E M ness. You're a gem. If you believe that, where did it come from? And when you know what you know, you can handle a little a little challenge or pushback because you realize, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I can handle that because this is solid. I stand firm and flat footed in that. I am value. I have value, um, and it comes from. I say it's innate. It's come from the fact that I exist. What is yours from? Do you feel that it comes from things? Maybe the certain a certain amount of possessions you have and the particular possessions. Is that where your value? You know, people talk about their net worth. So is that your value based on what dollar sign can be put to you? What about people? Your people connections. Sometimes um, we can feel valuable based off of who we know and who knows us and who will recognize us in public. Um, is that where your value comes from? Other people? What about validation for some of your attributes, some of your genius, some trait that you have that stands out above the pack? Is that where you get when you have people acknowledge and recognize that about you? Is that where your value and your worth come from? And I'll say that may be true. Some of you may feel that is true, but that's very shaky ground because what happens when maybe you lose some of your things, when they become dated and you don't have newer things? What happens when some of your people go away? Maybe they grow away. They may go uh, in other ways. They may leave, move because they're just pursuing their own lives. Sometimes people pass. Um, but we don't, they don't belong to us. We, we don't, we're not in possession of others. So that can be shaky if people make their own choices and that choice may take them away from us. Then where's our value or our worth coming from them? And when it comes to validation, what about when people withhold it? They may not choose to recognize us for certain things that we would like to be recognized for. So the validation can be kind of fickle. Um, it may not always be sincere. Depends on um, what season we're in. You might be popular and inspiring one moment and other times people had, could have forgotten and might be onto something else. It's very, um, it's very wave-like, no stability. If, you're de if your worth is dependent upon other things, people, or validation, what would it take for you to receive that you're your worth is, is also innate.
the very fact that you live and breathe and have your being, you exist, that you were born worthy, worthy of breath, air, and life. And you are due to take up your place on this in your space on this planet. Challenge that if you don't already, if you haven't already, um, because I suggest to you that your value, your worth is innate as well. Then my third and last and final question as to our affirmation, which I will repeat, I am worthy of success and abundance in all areas of my life. So we're delving into that. I'm challenging that. Uh, when it comes to our resource of time, how are we using it to manifest that, to live that out and to attract what that whole affirmation is about? So the first question is, what's in your hand or your possession? And the second was, what about you is worthy? Spend some time there. And then the third question, it's not a question. It's just the third point. And it's called homework. That's work that you will do after you get off of this call, after this um, meeting with me. You can think about it regularly until you get your answers. And it is. The point here is make it make sense. Make it make sense to you. Everything I've said and shared, make it fit. What do you need to work on the most? Is it recognizing what is in your hand, what you are in possession of? Your job, your family, your connections, your interpersonal relationship. What assets do you have that maybe you have taken for granted or not considered much, but you have to stop and realize, I do have that. I do. And I can do something with it. Um, is that an area you need to spend more time with? What about your worth, your value? We can add in there your self-esteem. Um, make it make sense for you. Is that an area that you need to sit with for a while? Have you been chasing highs, hoping that others can give you and validate you in areas that you've not been able to do for yourself. That can be a very lonely existence or it all, it definitely keeps one on the hamster wheel. You're running, 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 you know, for that carrot that you never can catch, but you keep running, you're expending energy. What if you could give yourself that carrot? If, if you had it in your pocket and realize, hey, I already have some, I don't have to chase this. Um, you know, it's just a saying, but in real terms, what if you weren't looking to others for what you need from yourself? What if you were not looking for things because they can get broken, they can get stolen, they can be um, outdated because it doesn't take long for something newer and shinier to replace the other. Um, so if your value is in those things, I guess you have to travel with them all the time to help yourself feel good. You, you know, you need to be surrounded by those fancy, bright things. And um, what about those quiet moments? And is there anything you can do to help yourself recognize that you're already the, the best of, of a version of yourself or you're creating the best version of yourself? And that doesn't come from others' approval, and validation, it actually comes from your own. So what area do you need to spend the most time with? Do you need to think about your value and your worth? Do you need to consider what's in your possession? What assets, what resources do you have? And one that we all have is time. How are you using it to make your life better? Because remember, I am worthy of success and abundance in all areas of my life. What can you do now to go get some of yours? What can you do now to magnify who you are and what you bring and what you desire. What can you do right now? Okay, get going and let me know how it goes. Till we meet again. Thanks for, for chiming in. Thanks for being here.